Welcome back. Now, they're one of life's tiniest miracles. Born 22 weeks premature, doctors didn't hold out much hope for Hunter and Darcy Ridley, yet they defied enormous medical odds and have just turned six. However, they will always need ongoing care and support. But giving them a suitable home has been a real struggle for their parents, Justin and Gillian, that is, until our own KG Cunningham came along to lend a hand. We were told a less than 1% chance that we would take two babies home. In fact, we were trying to decide whether it would be a funeral or they weren't even considered babies at that stage. That's how early they were. There she is. It's hard to imagine that six years ago, twins Darcy and Hunter Ridley weighed a total of, would you believe, one kilogram. Give me another big kiss on the hand. Oh. They were born 22 weeks premature among the youngest in the world to survive. They've been fighters all their short lives. He's got beautiful hands, has he? Yeah. I love that baby. He's my friend. Their life today isn't without its problems. Hunter and Darcy are gorgeous looking little kitties, they really are, but will have to live with ongoing serious disabilities, would you believe, for the rest of their lives. Where the stream runs blue. Ah. Oh. Papa. Papa. Darcy is unable to speak, has mobility problems and is constantly going to hospital because of seizures. It's almost their second home. What about down the track? Will Hunter and Darcy need further operations or not? Darcy, I'd probably say yes. Her shunt can block at any time and get infected. So it's just a walking time bomb. So it will happen again eventually. When you say her shunt can close down, what, what does that actually, how does it affect her? Um, if it blocks, she'll get really sleepy, start having seizures. She can go unconscious and we can literally kill her. Young Darcy, how does she communicate? Like, I guess like parents know babies, they're not communicating. We, we know what she wants. It's is she can sort of indicate with body language, but she is starting to sign and she does have a communication device which she can actually tap on little things. Boy, that hunter is a little tiger. He just doesn't stop. Ice cream. I like ice cream. You like ice cream, do you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so do I. We usually waking at 4.35 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, and then it's a matter of running around, feeds, medication, and sort of getting sorted to get into school by quarter past eight. Darcy particularly either needs a nurse or, or, or a carer or someone to feed her because she's fed gastrostomy. It's straight into her tummy. And Darcy's also on, a, on oxygen overnight and a monitor which beeps up so it sleeps deprived here in the house. A lot of the stuff is, as much as the physical stuff they're doing, it's really emotional straining. It's, it's just killer. Their parents, Justin and Gillian, with older sister Jess, are now their full-time carers. And you can just imagine how tough and demanding that would be. You want your kids to be happy. And it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be doctors or lawyers. No. They're going to be happy. Just be nice people. Be good people and be happy with what they've got and what they're doing. So that's our focus, is to give our kids the most, the greatest opportunity that they can go with, that they can have, you know? That's what I admire most about them. They don't complain, they're always positive, and above all, they're always smiling. They really smile the whole day. You must be special people, Justin and Gillian, to, to, to do the things you do, because I'll say to you right now, I couldn't do it. I think. I don't really have much choice. I think the love for your children pushes you through, and, and I'd, uh, KG, I think you could do it. No, I would fall in a mumbling mess. Mm. Got a fair good family support as well, haven't we? So. Justin and Gillian give their kids all they can possibly afford. It's their dream to one day make their home safer and a play area that's suitable for both Darcy and Hunter. This is obviously the, 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 the backyard where the, where the kids play and uh, really and truly it's not really conducive. I, I wouldn't have thought to two kiddies with the disabilities. What sort of things would you like to do out here? Yeah, well, um, we're just trying to make a, a yeah, lawned area here, a nice yep. flat space here where the kids can play, run around. Yep. Um, up the back, I've got the boat, and uh, I want to turn that into a sand pit with yep. a um, you know, little play area in there, a uh, cubby house at the back, you know, more lawn space for the kids to play. And for Darcy, she needs a flat area where she can get around on a walker, yep. you see. So yep. I'm just trying to flatten this off. Are you able to do it? Oh, it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough. Maybe by the time we're 50. Well, look, we, I, I know I'm sticking my nose in here, but I, I, I know a good friend of mine, I'm sure, if I spoke to him about this situation, he'd love to help you. Would, would you mind if I spoke to him? 
Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be lovely. That okay. would be lovely. Well, leave it with me, and I promise you, I'll be back. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much, KG. If anyone deserves a change of luck, it's the Ridleys. I want to make their dream come true. So I caught on a bloke with a heart of gold, as big as himself, Justin Scott, the boss of Complete Home Transformations. Hi, Sue, how are you? Hi, Justin. Justin, how are you? How are you, all right? Justin, I've got a challenge for you. I've got a needy family that needs a complete home transformation job done. Are you up to it? We're up for anything. Come with me. Well, Justin, here's your big challenge. What can you do with this yard for a very special family? Oh, KG, I think there's a fair bit we can do here with all the products that we uh, Complete Home Transformations do. I think we'll make it um, kid, uh, fairly kid friendly here. Nice lawn here. We'll put some lawn in here, get some paving all at the same height. I think the uh, maintenance free garden. Yeah. We'll do some uh, cafe blinds and re restore the roof. I think we'll make a, a really great transformation. Crikey, it's a massive job and Justin wouldn't be able to do it on his own. My challenge is to get as many involved as I possibly can and give Justin, Gillian and the kids the surprise of their lives. Have a look at that. Mm, well, it certainly is a big job, but can KG deliver on his promise and transform that family house? Well, we'll find that out tomorrow night. Well, last night he made big promises. Now comes the moment of truth. When KG Cunningham met the Ridley family, like many of us, he was touched by their plight. Twins Hunter and Darcy were born at just 22 weeks into Gillian Ridley's pregnancy, or 18 weeks premature, the youngest in the world to survive at that age. And while they did defy all odds, they will need a lifetime of special care. So KG gathered a group of big-hearted blokes to lend them a helping hand. The Ridley family meet every challenge life throws up at them and there's been more than they care to remember. It's definitely hard but you've always, um, you can really get bogged down in how hard it is. We don't, we try not to because it's not good for the kids, it's not good for us. Six years ago Justin and Julia didn't know whether their 18 week premature twins Hunter and Darcy would ever see a birthday. We were told less than 1% chance that we would take two babies home. Um, I wasn't told that at the start, Justin, was, you were told, they yeah. kept it away from me for a few weeks. Well, I was actually told that I was at risk of losing Gillian as well at that stage. Oh, gosh. Well, how did you feel at, at, at that stage? Yeah, I was, I was beside myself. Today, their fight for life still goes on. More so for young Darcy, who will always require constant care and medical attention. There'd be 10 visits to the hospital a month, and that's when they're doing well. Um, yeah, last year, Darcy was in hospital for five months straight. She had Five months? Yeah, she had eight operations on her brain at that time, and her tonsils taken out as well. But what this battling family sorely needs is a big helping hand to make their house suitable and safe for Darcy, Hunter, and their older sister, Jessica. Their backyard is a bit of a nightmare to negotiate, and they simply cannot afford a makeover. I'm just trying to get, basically get a nice flat area, firstly for a walker, but also on the grass area, a nice lawn and stuff so they can play, to, to do what kids do, you know, to get out there where they can be safe. Yes. And it's facilitated for Darcy particularly, because she's the one, she's got massive mobility problems. Mate, I've got a big challenge for you. I've got a needy family that needs one of your complete home transformations. We're up for anything. Come on, follow me. And that's where Justin Scott from Complete Home Transformation comes in. I didn't have to twist the big fella's arm to come to the Ridley's rescue and get his tradies and other suppliers on board, like Mario at Mario, Albert Sand okay. and Metal. We're doing a big job for a very, very special family. I need some products, some sand and metal. What are the chances? Yeah, good. Take what you need. No problems? No worries. I'll bring the truck in. No worries. He and Schultz at Dulux. We'd love to help. Um, Acrotex, we do more than just render. What we can do is we can provide the acrylic texture for the walls Beautiful. in the Acrotex product. Um, and we've got a great new uh, heat reflective coating for the roofs in Infracool. Um, so how about we throw that in as well? Oh, that'd be sensational. I know the family would appreciate it greatly. Thanks, Ian. No, we'd love to help. Good on you. Building materials from the Glen Mitre 10, run by Matt Murray and Melina Thomas. 
Tyson Lem ripped up the backyard for a carpet of artificial lawn. This is what I'm going to do by supplying 75 square metres of Australian made artificial lawn by our manufacturer Neatgrass in Melbourne. Uh, with no watering, no mowing, there'll be 25 years plus of uh, joyful fun the family can have on this lawn. We hear classic timber furniture for a new outdoor setting to go with the outdoor cafe blinds from Matt Simon of Adelaide Alfresco Blinds under their veranda. You can actually easily lift them up and down and they're really easy for everybody. You can go from having just a standard pergola outdoor area just to quickly enclosing it really easily. And play equipment from Scott Hardwick at Hills. We'd love to give the family a new clothesline. For the kids, some play equipment. Oh, I'm sure they'll love it. Super. And uh, we'll help out with some other household goods as well. Bins from Waste Away for all the rubbish. I'm going to tell you there's a fair bit of waste that's come out of here as well. <laughs> How many bins? I think there's about eight in total. Then it was time the boys from Complete Home Transformations to get stuck into the job, from the roof to the walls and the backyard. It got bigger and bigger, uh, but the good thing is, you know, I got hold of my trade, suppliers, and um, the true Aussie spirit, everyone put their hand up and said, mate, I'm in. It was time to surprise Justin, Gillian and the kids. Here they come, Justin. They are going to get the, the shock of their life when they see this. Unbelievable. Yeah. Let's come and have a look. Let's come and have a look. Oh. Come on, guys. Come, come on, let's on have a look the surprise. Let's go. <laughs> Can you believe this, Justin? It's absolutely cool. awesome. No, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, me born, sure. <laughs> what a difference. Here's how it looked before and what it's like now. And yeah, look, makes you really proud. Uh, proud that we all band together and uh, for a really great cause. And uh, the outcome, you know, is sensational. Uh, is, is worthwhile. The transformation is just unbelievable. That's crazy, that's awesome. Oh. That is absolutely Thank you, Matt. You have a look up here, guys. You won't have to pay for a power bill again. Click oh. on transformation, oh, put mate. solar on your roof. What will it do for the kids uh, who've uh, you know, had, had nowhere to play previously? What will it do for their lives? Well, as you can see just from today, like, they're just they're loving it. They're out mm. here playing, and you know, they can get out in the sunlight. It's, it's, it's awesome. Thank you for um, coming here today and thank you for all the builders for doing this house and I really want to thank Justin from Complete Home Transformations for doing it. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, just brilliant stuff and well done to Cage and the boys.